sharpen time. Boom, boom. There's a song there somewhere. There's a song there somewhere. Can't even remember the words. Anyway, <clears throat> this is how I do it. I do without the guide. Like this, by the way. That's the best use of a golf ball. I can go... Where's my links gone? There. Do that, tidy it up like that. But I see a lot of videos on the internet already of that. But I'm also not too proud to use this filing guide that comes off your filing kit when you buy a new stall saw. Um, especially on my little saw that I do the carving and the fencing with. When I'm doing rail work, I need it to be cutting straight and accurate and just nicely without chipping too much. So, I use the filing guide. It's got your angles on there, does the right depth. Like sometimes I'll get the gullet a little bit more to get a bit more aggressive. Hopefully that's coming through on the video. Tap all the filings out. But yeah, don't, if you're not 100% comfortable with freehand filing, don't be too proud. Obviously, when we're in the bush, you don't carry everything with you, so freehand's the one. But when you're like this on a job site, the truck's handy, you've got a nice stump sharpening station, I call it, then why not? You keep your, especially on those big bars, like on that 42, if you're only slightly off, so you'll do all funny things. Like in that video earlier on when I did that, on that stump that the quarter cut, my one quarter cut ran up a little bit. Now that wasn't because of the filing, that was me not driving the power head right, but they'll run off in all sorts of directions. So, I mean, is there any prizes for the one that can file without this? I haven't been given one yet. So anyway, let's get her sharpened up and carry on. <laughs> 